Hey everyone, Assalamualaikum. So in this video, I would actually like to share with you how I built a habit tracker in Notion to help me keep track of all the habits that I have to do day in day out. So for me personally, I think this habit tracker helps me a lot, especially to keep track of the things that I need to do. So what I call them are the non-negotiables, for example, like reading 50 pages a day or um, praying five times a day and so on and so forth. So here I have my Notion page open. So I'm just going to title it as Habit Tracker. So what you want to do is you make sure you have it at um, full width and you can change the style of the font. Personally, I like the serif. So now you will have to put a database. A database. So I'll put an inline one. So for me personally, I like to hide the database. Rename it as Daily Habit Tracker. And I will change it to Calendar. So you can see it in a month's glance. Okay, so today, today is 22nd of December. So what you're going to do is go here and then add new templates, name them as, for me personally, I will name them as non-negotiables. This is the default, so you just want to delete them. Okay, so just add properties here. So what you want to do is just add the check boxes. So let me just add in the habits that I have for myself. Next, I will add the progress bar. So for the progress bar, you will have to put formula and just write progress. Okay. So now we just want to arrange our habits. You can leave them like this if you want. Personally, I prefer to arrange them as how I would expect to complete them throughout the day. So for example, I would put my morning prayer first and followed by my Quran, my morning Quran, followed by my reading. Okay. And usually in the morning, I will be studying my Chinese. Next, followed by the afternoon prayer. And in prayer, I will usually be studying my Japanese. Next will be my mid-afternoon prayer followed by exercise, followed by the evening prayer, and then the nighttime prayer, followed by the evening Quran, or nighttime Quran, however you want to see it. Change the icons. This is actually my favorite part. <laughs> I love changing icons. So for example, for Fajr, there's a perfect icon for this, the rising sun. Quran, I will put as a heart. Read. So let me just change all of these icons. For the progress bar, let's look here. See so if click here. Okay. So now this is a true or false um, property. So it's either true or it's either false. But for this formula we need to we need it to be in numbers. So what we do is we just do this. Two number. Okay. And then you put another bracket. And put all the properties that you want.
divide them by 11. Alright, done. Next, click here, edit property. And what you need to do is change it to bar or if you prefer a ring or if you just prefer numbers, it's up to you. But I prefer to look at the bar. And change the number format to percent. Okay, so let's check it out. If I click this, it will give me a long list of numbers, right? So you may want to keep that, but for me myself, I prefer to have a smaller number to look at. Okay, so next, we want to change it. So let's edit the formula. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply everything by 1,000 after it's been divided by 11. 1,000, and you put another pair of brackets, and we're going to divide it by 1,000 because we want to have one decimal point. Okay, so let's try it. So there you go. If you want to keep it to the weekly view, you also can do that. So you just go to these three dots here and layout and go here. Show calendar as month or week. So let's try the week. Okay, so let's change it like this. Okay, so this is 20 second. So let's see. If you see this plus sign here, you can add an item and you can add your template, which is your non negotiables. Okay, so let me just add this one. Okay, so as you can see here, first, all the habits will not be displayed. So what you have to do is, you have to go here, which says properties, and it shows here a list of all the habits that you have created. It's just that by default, it doesn't show. So you have to choose which one you want to show. So I will say show all. Now, it looks like a mess, right? So you can change the order in which it appears. For example, I want to have the progress bar at the top, so it's easier for me, and the date as well. The date will be at the bottom. Alright, so I'm adding prayer. So for example, if today you've already completed your uh, prayers or you've read your 50 pages or if you've done your exercise, you can just click here. You can see straight on that you have completed these actions and you, this is your progress for the day, 27.3%. Okay, now let me show you how it looks like on the phone. So once you've selected the dates, you can look here, press it in. And then you can check the boxes. Okay. So once you check the boxes, it actually shows up on the screen here. So it's pretty simple. So if you want, you can also put your you can put it on your home screen. So you can add all of these favorites, recents, whatsoever. So I'm just going to add the habit tracker. So you just click this one. So just tap it. Okay. So it's selected. And there you go. It's going to be on your homepage. So whenever you want to check off the habits that you've completed on your phone, you don't have access to your laptop, just go here. And there you go. So I hope that was helpful for you. You can go on and include all of these in your January calendar to be ready for 2024. And if you don't have time to set it up for yourself, I have this template free of charge for you in the description box below. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next one.